to be very obvious, it is ungodly hot in Qatar. It's 50 degrees Celsius at times in the summer. You pack thousands of people into a stadium. It sounds like a formula for mass heat stroke. How are they going to do it? Very, very hot for soccer. Uh, so they're going to use a solar cooling technology that takes uh, the sun's energy, funnels it through solar thermal collectors and into an absorption chiller. That'll be the vocab word for the morning. The absorption chiller takes the hot water through a chemical reaction, produces extremely cold water. They funnel it to an ice bank beneath the stadium. Air blows over the ice bank and cools the stadium actually from beneath the seats. So you'll be sitting there getting cool air blasted from beneath you. Uh, that's how the cold air gets into the stadium. Right. But most of us who know anything about air conditioning don't usually use it with our windows open. Exactly, uh, exactly. We're talking about open venues. I mean, exactly. Are they, they going to be literally fighting the desert heat and the rays of the no. sun? No, no. Uh, so FIFA uh, is adamant that uh, football is an outdoor sport and it must be played under the open air. So this uh, stadium designed by Arab Associates, London-based firm, has uh, a rotating roof on half of it. The other half is a fixed roof. And leading up to the match, they'll close the thing off, cool it, and then open half of the roof uh, as the, after the afternoon sun passes over the stadium and when it's game time. They'll have a cool reservoir of air that just sits in the bowl, and as long as the wind doesn't blow too hard, it won't get stirred up and out of there. But the, will people be sitting in the sun? I mean, if you look at just even the, some of the animations that we've been showing, some mm -hmm. people are higher up than others. Inevitably, someone right. is going to be on the sunny side of the stadium. Are the right. people in the cheap seats going to end up cooked? <laughs> Uh, I don't think so. I think the way that the uh, fixed, uh, this is a really beautiful looking stadium also, uh, the way that the fixed petals of the, uh, the roof shade the thing, um, there are, uh, you remember those translucent panels on the water cube at the Beijing Olympic Games? Same material, different coating, and the same firm also is designing this. It prevents solar heat gain so that when you're sitting under these ETFE panels, a lot less heat from the sun actually makes it to the inside. So I don't think we'll be cooking any, any sports fans. Now, we just heard um, uh, a moment ago uh, that this technology is familiar, that it has been tried. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Does it tend to work, really? Is it going to work yeah, in color? Yeah, absolutely. This is, a, this is a huge demonstration of an existing technology. Part of what the firm wanted to do was use conventional components on a really massive scale. And so they're scaling it up, and it's a proven technology, and I'm really excited to see it work.